anime old heads to anime kids, demons, and emos, these anime menaces must be stopped. But before we get to the video, I got a little message for y'all. 250,000 niggas. That doesn't even sound real. Y'all are crazy. First, I want to apologize to y'all for the lack of consistency. I had to take a little step back, a little mental health break, because these demons were genuinely whipping my ass. But we back and ready to take over 2024. We streaming almost every day on Twitch. New content coming. Anyways, I'm just locked in, basically. So I hope y'all enjoyed this compilation of my best moments of 2023. Alright, so some nigga was causing trouble in Lego City. So they called in this absolute nerdroid, Mr. Oliva. He pulls up and he didn't even bother to change fits. Nigga walked in dressed like he was about to go praise the Lord Jesus this fine evening. Anyways, once he's in, he finds this nigga that looks like someone just did an arts and crafts project on his face. I hope you remember me. I was pressing a homeless man for five bucks when you tapped my shoulder asking for directions. Oh, I took one look at you and knew what you were. But then you went and broke every bone in my body. But I hung on. I hated your blood. I beg your pardon. Ooh, your ass so much. And ever since then, I've been plotting. And now it's time for my get back. I need you to run me my five dollars, boy. I need retribution. <laughs> you ain't getting shit, little nigga. Except this BB fucking C. Holy shit. Is that a snake, nigga? Damn. <laughs> you about to find out. No! And he starts spamming him with shotgun blasts. But this man just eats it and is like, You thought that would work? <laughs> My meat is bigger than that shotgun, buddy. So then Unk pulls out a katana, tries to slice him, gets weaved, tries again, and this nigga doesn't even bother trying to dodge it. He just lets his 40-inch pecs tank the katana. What? It's it's stuck. No. Black lives matter, bitch. And he sends this thing to flying out the building with one punch. When they found dude on the concrete, he had a dent in his chest like young boy. If you want to hurt him, you're going to have to go through me. I ain't Jay-Z, shorty. I hate women. Bitch, shut the fuck out of her. Guys, we got to stop. I, I'm so I can't do this. This video is over, guys. I don't support female abuse, woman abuse. Don't put your hands on girls. But smack him! God damn! Hey guys, leave a like for domestic violence. Leave the fuck out of it. But they find the original, original squad ship where they find out the old crew was up to some super shady shit. All of a sudden, blam, blam. There is no way these roaches got blickies. They surround these dudes and should have popped this random heroin addict silly. This other girl blocks some bullets, but then she immediately gets put on blacked. <laughs> Raw. And my nigga with the fake. I like it, Kaji. Huh? Come on. Introducing Fume. Fume is an innovative, all natural, no vapor, no nicotine air device where instead of inhaling garbage that will have you sound like General Grievous in a couple years, or worse, looking like Buddy over here, you can replace your bad habits with Fume, which removes all the harmful chemicals and addictiveness. I ain't gonna lie, I know stopping cold turkey is tough, but Fume makes breaking the habit easy and fun. It's simple to use, needs no batteries, and they got tons of flavors to choose from. So, what are you waiting for? It's a new year, why not make a better you? Lock in and use code. Old Wulu to get 10% off when you get the journey pack today. Today's battle is a real spectacle. Kilo versus what appears to be Joe Swanson. I can't lie, I don't think this is safe, but get to boxing. This little nigga was on timing immediately. Went for dude's neck, but he got that coop there burst and wheels himself away. So then he pulls out these snakes. They, they look like they're made out of licorice, I can't lie. And he's like, you thought I had a disability, huh? Nah, nigga, I got this ability to whoop your fucking ass. Man, that shit was so corny. Take this. Man, give me that shit. You thought this was tough? Nah, but this is. And he starts electrocuting this little nigga. Joe Swanson over there thinking he won, but Killua is like, sends dude into the sky, and as he's falling, he's like, I love you, you love me, we're a happy family. Yeah! This nigga's body dropped to the floor tweaking. Nah, this little nigga's a menace. Bucky's walking with a shorty on quite literally the most middle school date I've ever seen. Like, bro, they're holding hands and both of them are just looking at their toes like, wow, the, the pavement sure looks beautiful today. Man, Duke Dennis, please possess this nigga. I'm gonna go practice my ribs again, you know what I'm saying? Stop. <laughs> anyway, so while he's tonguing her down in the middle of the fucking park, this goofy goober is standing there about to cock block the hell out of him you better choose your next move wisely nigga i'm getting some cheeks tonight and it could either be hers or yours so he chose violence but just before he chops w man tanayama comes in and takes his ass away i want you in my booty 
and things of that nature now. So now it's Hanayama versus this overgrown Malteser headed ass nigga. And he's just listening to him waffle about. <laughs> Gave that man a taste of his foot fungus. Obviously, Hanayama's not letting that just slide. So he starts taking off his drip. That nigga said, fuck this thousand dollar suit. And just goes ahead and reveals his absolutely teased body. God damn. There's no way his dick isn't tiny. This man has this badass tattoo on his back that runs in his family. He got his done and was like, hey, this shit is whack. Then left and violated an entire Yakuza clan by himself. Put this nigga's head in the wall and was like, I painted it with the blood of my victims. It's finished. I ain't even trying to meet right. This man is badass. However, this man did not give a fuck. Hold on, not the Javichi. Now we just stiff arm dudes noggin like a quarterback and push him 10 yards into a fucking light pole. Then with the IQ of Patrick Starr, this nigga goes and grabs a goddamn park bench and slams it over his nigga's head. How do you go help him? Bitch, we are side characters. Hell no. Hanayama been silent this whole ass who been caked up on a Thursday evening and their combined turbulence caused the Statue of Liberty to crumble. Anyway, so Spec starts prepping up his ultimate attack. Which is really just this nigga spamming a bunch of punches like a dumbass. This nigga is trash. Gang hit him with a booty up right hook. Team Rocket's blasting off again. He's still trying to recover from that shit, breathing in and out like, <gasps> but he looks up and this man is just standing there, Surprise, menacingly. Malteser had looked at dude and saw holiness. They got hit with that. <laughs> Never try to cock block my homie again. I'ma steal this bitch. <laughs> no, you're not, nigga. You're bald. <coughs> Just love Mr. Clean. <laughs> you still talking? You, you haven't seen the Riz commercial? Let me clean your booty, baby. Oh, hell no, man. What? Gotcha, bitch. And he blows this man's mouth up. This nigga's whole body is sizzling like some chicken that just came out the microwave. Mouth is literally blown wide open. And he says, you still want smoke? Grabs this man and punches his ass into the power line. <laughs> Skibbity toilet starts trying to little bro boo. My boo ain't having none of that. He jumps up in pure ignorance. That ass tried to kill his own master. Then he went to the whoop ass world tour. Just going around delivering knuckle sandwiches to the guys like he was an Uber Eats driver. Like, I'm not gonna lie, if we comparing him to Manjeet, he ratios this nigga like, like bro was on a kill streak. He could not be stopped until he ran into Rod Wave. I want some fries and chicken. Ate him and then got diabetes. After that, they had to go back and change his theme song to this shit. Two things I never seen. Fast forward a bit and Shorty getting choked out by this I am Groot ass creature and his wooden schlong. So this emo motherfucker over here about to do some shit. But Shorty's like, nah, don't worry about it. Real niggas are coming. Boom, they pull up. And at this point, the bromance is already settled in, bro. They're besties. Toto wants to make sure Itadori's actually worthy of being his boyfriend. So he's gonna have to fight anime Groot by himself until he can land one falcon punch. Their bromance level's already at a clean 600,000. But Toto wants to see Itadori cook. So Groot tries to toss a ball of straight dookie at him. He weaves it and then hits it with a three combo, buddy. This was his chance to land his falco. He messed it up, though. Yo, gang. I can't fight tweak that. Itadori took that shit straight to heart. Locked in so hard, he started drooling. So Groot tried popping out her wood style jutsu, but Itadori was too locked in. Falcon punch! Congrats, gang. You did it. Now let's jump this nigga and kiss. The scene gets absolutely turnt. It's all types of Avatar The Last Woodbender going on. And these dudes' romance levels just keep rising. They both start running the swing on Groot, but she just yeets all the wood away. She fully wildly coyote these niggas and is about to stab him with some wood. Nah, she thought. Their romance level's already next level. Twin! Look at them, they dodge it with love. Wow, those two are super duper sus. At this point, the bromance levels are over 1 million, bro. It's time for the real jumping to commence, and it all starts with the blood of Jesus. I said clap if you love Jesus. Clap, oh yeah. Clap, Jesus is gold. I cannot sing for sh Clap if you love Jesus. Clap if you love Jesus. Lord, pray for this one, nigga. I don't think I'll survive this. Clap in the name of the Lord. Clap, pull, clap. Hallelujah, clap! Hallelujah, clap! Hallelujah, clap! Now go on, you two. Beat the devil on that nigga in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Man, I've never seen jumping that beautifully orchestrated in my life. Until these two niggas popped up on the scene. The battle is about to begin. The anal assassin versus his innocent victim. Shit's looking serious. Who will win? 
did this nigga just moan? Oh no, nah, this nigga's hard! Go against these two herpy forehead demons, and before they can even start squabbling, PK Thunder! <laughs> Had bro looking like he's either getting electrocuted or some of that Ash Cash treatment. Uh, this does that nigga have a blicky? Why is this motherfucker Kenya just casually chilling on top of the roof with a sawed-off shotgun? Bang, bang! He played duck hunt with these niggas' heads. These here motherfuckers got me all the way fucked up. <laughs> what the? F How did he get a strap? This ain't Chirac. So Kenya cuts his head off, and Tantra's like, "You dumbass! You're just making more of them." Huh? Now there's so many of these fuckers. It looks like a bang bro scene. Oh, Anyways, Tantra gets joined by this bird nigga. He starts yelling out to Kenya to save his ass, but uh. <laughs> He's a little busy. Busy getting turned into a shish kebab. Bro really got that Krillin treatment. You need to worry about yourself, gang. Huh? Nigga say I'm out of town, I'm in Hong Kong. I'm just trying to get this cash in Hong Kong. I don't care about fighting, I'm in Hong Kong. My ears, bro. There she was ass. You just smacked my homie's mixtape. My mama just called and got some money, son. Not again. Man, get his ass gone. Swat. Oh, shit. He got this one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mink, 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 mink. Oh, yo. Ah. Damn, what a zesty ass kick! God keeps trying. He sprints and looking for the perfect opportunity. He jumps, gets weaved, and be out of ah, it's, not it's not looking good. He can't even get a hit, and his is just seductively staring him down. It is dead silent. The battle is nothing but straight hands. Just one, two, bop, 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 bop. Hey, I'll pray for God, man. He's not dead, but I saw his booty about to be burning ah! after this. Hisoka's trying to beat him without even moving an inch, but Gon's determined to outmaneuver him. The little nigga jumps at him, starts throwing out all these shadow clones, then goes and picks up a boulder, fucking obliterates it, had this man chopping blocks like he was Bob the Builder, then slowly creeps up behind him, and then sneaks this nigga dead in the face! Gon is that nigga for real! Hisoka starts gathering up all his R. Kelly spiritual pressure and elbows the little dude, then he literally just runs up behind him and volleys him like a volleyball. I kid you not, he then tries to kick him and Falcon kicks the floor into the god damn stand why do people in anime watch these fights bro that block could have killed like 30 niggas so ahsoka starts chasing this man he hits him with a donkey kong spike then he roofied gone and took him to his white van now i'm playing he starts pulling him around with bungee gum i can't lie i thought bro was about to kiss him but nah he hits him with a mean right i'm surprised they let this fight continue bro gone is getting violated had little bro looking like he just fell down the stairs in family guy gone's not giving up and he jumps at ahsoka again but bro ahsoka is so fucking horny he's absolutely twisted weekend right now he is letting this little man wail on him to fuel his pain king god can't even do anything though he getting pulled into all of his punches the ref makes a bullshit call and hisoka is like "Gon, watch out on your right huh oh my fault i meant your left and then Gon loses by tko he got hold bro he could have won that he, he could have won that nah he could this man is well over 300 years old and decided he was gonna pull up to a multi-universal ass whooping tournament in sandals Bruh. sandals nigga like look at the competition bro get that weak shit on my face bitch oh no 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 wait ah, my nigga um didn't even care he really pulled up on these young whippersnappers hitting that oh, i'm tired of clapping granny cheeks anime pose and then suddenly gets attacked with this weak ass banana looking boomerang then this shorty pulls up trying to attack him with the hammer from smash bros nigga just weaves it and she looks so surprised she's like what how did these old ass dodge uh, and roshi is just staring at her cheeks from behind laughing like oh, young lady i'd rather not have to beat your ass can you just pop a titty and call it an a and hold on she actually listened she starts stripping trying to get unk on that type of timing trying to catch him laughing can this man's wiener even get hard anymore? Unk's meat probably gonna get cranked to start like one of these. There's no way Roshi's gonna fall for that. He would never sell our whole universe for some titties. Man, those are some fat ass titties. Wallahi, we're finished. I ain't gonna lie, I'd fold for some alien coochie too, but that shit gotta be out of this world, <laughs> out of this galaxy. Anyway, so Roshi gets lost in the sauce, straight up tries to dive into that jalooper, and his bitch tries to stab his balls. But Ump just catches her spear with two fingers and is like, bitch, why did you just try to cut off my balls? Uh, aren't you like 80? How the hell do you have so much strength? Uh, snap, Shorty is huh? perplexed. Whole time she ain't know, Roshi keeps that viagra on him he's hitting these meat hardening movements and he's just scaring this girl like y'all like what you see sonny ew why is it so wrinkly yo this man did not take viagra he took trend unk is literally scaring the hose away and growing bigger and bigger by the second show 
Show, show me your feet. That is not Riz, Unc. So she runs off, but this wrinkly old pervert is not done yet, bro. This other shorty pulls up out the shadows, trying to test Gramps. And hold on, this one's low-key powerful. She's got is Shorty opium. She put Unc in a Genjutsu and was like, "Got a wizard money gang. We love casting spells." Then she just bitch slapped him. And when he lands, she pops up out the shadows all inconspicuous. And literally, she would Unk with the shadow technique. Now that you can't move, I'm gonna force you to listen to Yeet. Oh, hell no. I thought this bitch was opium. Terrible music containment wave. No! Yeet did fall off. Unk literally put her in a bottle and then tossed yeah. her into out of space. I, I think he killed that bitch, bro. This man didn't even care. He's Fortnite emoting on their asses. You shouldn't have done that. Now it's my turn to fight. Who the fuck is this nigga, bro? Y'all serious? All three of y'all niggas in the fourth universe trying to get your ass whooped? I don't know who told bro he's the main character, but he transforms into the buffest KFC victim I've ever seen. Nigga tried to dash at him, but Unk just slaps him away with one hand. What a weak ass attack. You better ask the writers for a power up, you little nigga. Bro got up just to give one of the corniest lines I've ever heard. You're like an old rotting twig. Easy to snap. Jumps at him and then proceeds to get absolutely <laughs> styled <laughs> on. Gramps is weaving all his attacks, talking about some. Your attacks are so predictable. Up, up, down, down. Nigga, this is not Tekken. This man jumped away and said it's talent time. He then jumped back in and Roshi just hurdles this nigga and kicks his ankle. <laughs> what kind of weak ass catchphrase is it's talent time? Nigga should have just said it's finger looking good or some shit. So now you would think Mr. KFC is ready to call it quits, but he gets back up and punches Roshi so hard he flies back. Yo, is this nigga actually the main character? He's wailing on him, bruh. Nearly made Gramps shit out of hemorrhoid and then continues to spam heavy attacks. This bird nigga might have actually asked for a power up, bro. Why did he just start cooking all of a sudden? So now it seems this 300 year old man is done for since Ronnie Goldman, the fucking bird, just gave this man the Floyd me with her special. But now, nah, Unk gets right back up and starts charging up the sexiest, buffest, nigga horniest, common, common. Ever <laughs> Sends this nigga straight to the 20-piece family bucket. <laughs> and then he has a heart attack. Goku pulls up all. No, my master. Wake up, wake up. Bama's titties are out. Where? And he wakes up and just walks off. Why, hello, son. Do you need help scrubbing your back? Scrub a dub dub dub. Scrub a dub dub dub. What's wrong? Is it because your mom's not here to hold your hand, huh? You know, your mom has really nice hands, right? I'm gonna cut them off and eat them. No. I'm gonna cut off your mom's hands and eat them. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, nigga. I'm loving it. I ain't gonna lie, my first time ever crying watching anime was Jiraiya. This nigga got gangbanged so hard, I was surprised it wasn't on black. Anyways, Jiraiya's trying to sneak into the hidden rain, so he puts himself inside this nigga. Pause. I have absolutely no clue why his hair color doesn't match his beard, but the origami bitch caught his ass immediately. Tried to give this man 1,000 demonic paper cuts and stab him, but Jiraiya hit him with a katun. Fire mixtape no jutsu. Oh snap, this is fire. And then slithered himself out of this dude's ass. I don't know what Conan thought she was about to do with some paper powers, but Jiraiya's mixtape was way too hot for any of her attacks to be effective. This nigga did a slide cancel and then straight up spit on her. That is when Pain had to step in. What, what happened to you, Nagato? You used to be a good you, at least until you got that severe case of incurable pink eye. There is no need for you to know. Either way, you are still getting gangbanged. Red Lobster, not on this nigga. Huh? This man's lobster tried to bust on him with zero respect for Conan, who got drenched right after that pain goes on his monologue yada 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 the world shall no pain nigga please seek therapy pain didn't want to gangbang dryer right away they wanted to start off with just the tip first it was the national geographic path and his incest animals that look like they're straight out of alabama like bro look at that dog and tell me with a straight face it doesn't look like there was some sibling on sibling action Bruh. dude even summoned the biggest bird and mr cockle doodle doo had extra feet nigga this is the shit they be putting in kfc chicken sandwiches i'm telling you dryer was literally running for his life trying to escape its goddamn explosive shits bro he's running in sandals too like ain't no way that this is eventually he turned the bird into a kfc 10 piece bucket but when jiraiya finally got this dude on his ones he was like you know we jump on every set summoning jutsu two more niggas two of his homies pop out of thin air and jiraiya's like jesus christ you infected your homies with pink eye too it is not pink eye you froggy bitch Jiraiya and his two little homies spit all type of shit at them, but the chubby one hops in front and straight up tanks it. What the fuck? Did that fat ass nigga just eat my attack? So Jiraiya tries to hit him with this Rasengan, but this man is eating it like a Popeye's biscuit with no water. 
while he's enjoying dinner. The other one tries to sneak Jiraiya from the back. Jiraiya hits a Uno reverse on him, but then he hits another Uno reverse on him. It's really three gingers trying to destroy this nigga's butthole, and the second he saw one of them pull out that long ass pole, Sayonara, nigga. Jiraiya knew it was time to go. They catch his ass, but before they can run their train, he puts them in a Genjutsu. But what Jiraiya didn't know was that it wasn't three niggas trying to jump him. It was six! Man, when I saw six niggas and Jiraiya's arm was gone and the Tsunade flashback, I already knew it was over for a dude, bro. Jiraiya, my friend, I'm sorry. Your cheeks are about to be taken. They ain't waste no more time jumping this nigga, bro. Started sending all types of missiles at him, grabbed him by the neck, and then six man slam dunked his ass with their BBC chakra rod. Absolutely gang bang. <laughs> So he pulls up with the power of James Charles and just straight beats the hell out of this little nigga. Oh, I can't wait to cut off your hand and just dip it in some peanut butter. Wait, hold on. They're not trimmed. You dirty bitch. Why don't you trim your fingernails? I need to suck on them. I refuse to let dirty fingernails touch my dick. Now time for the karate chop. So you want to get jerked, huh? Manny, I'll show you what the real jerking looks like. Wait, your hands are rough. Jerk, 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 jerk. Jotaro jerked this man until he couldn't stand anymore. But that's not where- Five minutes ago, he turned a Siberian tiger into a goddamn pretzel with just a hug. And now you about to let some random Chinese nigga with a ponytail box him? Yeah, I get the mention. Movie. And that's not just some random Chinese nigga. That's 4,000 years of Chinese kung fu you're looking at. It's 4,000 years of kung fu about to do it against 200 million years of ooga booga. Man, shut, shut your nerdy ass up. up. You need to put the calculator down and go get some bitches, god damn. Anyway, so Tarzan oh. wakes up. The show's trying to tell us he sent the 4,000 years of kung fu training. I think bro just smelled Chinese food walking up. And this man just jumps in like Jackie Chan. Yeah. Buddy, you are not the main character. It's my time to shine, they says. So for the first time, Pickle actually takes a fighting stance. This man Retsu's like, for this battle, I will call upon every Jackie Chan or Bruce Lee movie I've seen so far. I get like one step and Pickle just starts running at him, meat swinging everywhere. Slaps him and sends him into the goddamn wall. I'm back! I knew it! I knew that nigga was trash! I told you bald ass this idea was stupid! But Retsu was not done. He's like, hmm, it seems as though sheer strength can't beat him. Like, no shit, nigga, can you wrestle a T-Rex? I think the f not! So Pickle starts skedaddling up again. He really wants a taste of Panda Express, but all he got was a taste of ankle. Then Retsu started feeling a little zesty. But he said, I whip my hair back and forth, gripped him and had his rock hard booty hit the ground, and then Roundhouse yeah. kicked him in the eyeballs with all his strength. He had this man Pickle crying. But not in pain. This ooga booga demon was crying because he was thinking, <laughs> This thing is trash. Retsu's the Lulu, though. In his mind, he thinks he's winning. He starts hitting Pickle with all types of kung fu. He's really trying to become the next dragon warrior. Karate chop, gun punch. I learned that one from Rush Hour 3, bitch. So now he's standing there all proud of himself like, I was six clean attacks straight to his head. Wait, I'm goaded. I hope I didn't end the fight early. I like it, could you? Man, I fell down till my knees when the law came. Nah, after that, he gonna have trouble <laughs> counting for the rest of his life. I'm thinking about buying this book on counting. Three, four. <gasps> What's gonna happen next? Anyway, so now Retsu's on his knees. Hey, yo. yo, why is his mouth open like that? Double hey, pop. Yo. So Pickle picks this nigga up like an action figure and he's like, Is this a W Eats show? <laughs> and just takes a straight up bite out of him. Retsu tries to stop him, but Pickle loves you to play hard to eat. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know why this man is so surprised. He literally volunteered to be eaten. Now he's astonished. This nigga started munching. So then this man is like, all right, it's time for my Rock Lee moment. Starts taking off his tap dance shoes, and General Stride is like, oh shit, he's finally getting serious. But this man, Pickle, could not care less. You bastard. How dare you eat the son of a warrior? Without the sun! I know for a fact he's regretting all that dick riding now. Like, look at how he was acting the day before. All I can think about is fighting him. Did you see what he did to that news reporter? His dick was like 16 inches, nigga. I just, I just, I just want to wrestle it. The next day. This, this can't be. 4,000 years of kung fu just to get beaten by a dinosaur booty clapper? Nah, I'm not taking that. A warrior shall not get taken out by a nigga who has never wiped his ass before. So Buddy starts genuinely tweaking. He's like, fuck that bald-headed ass nigga who told me kung fu was gonna get me home. I ain't gonna lie, I feel him though. That man Tarzan has been here for three days. He already got some cheeks. So he gives up on all the Jackie Chan movies and joins Pickle in his low IQ fighting. Master Uguay, Po, Shifu, I'm sorry. Pause. You see, this is a move we like to call the p bitch shuffle. Niggas who use this technique in battle typically have no bitches, no bread in their pockets, and have zero hands. To counter this move, all you have to do is kick him in the balls. 
Or, better yet, if you really want to crush his soul, just stand there and eat it. Who is this dollar store Iron Man? I hope he doesn't think he can kill my panda. Oh. This nigga pulled out some kind of night vision technology. Back in Africa, we would call attack helicopter on this nigga, and he would have been handled. Ah, never mind. I don't think attack helicopter is enough. Oh. This is the anal drill I use in bed, but I'm sure I can use it on you too. Wait. Why is he fucking up nature's peace of mind? He didn't even hit the panda. Stupid idiot. I hope Peter cancels his ass. Is this the African Tony Stark? He starts doing some kind of weird black magic at the panda. But he blocks it with the power of Africa. Do pandas even live in Africa? I don't care. I don't care. The panda starts squaring up with this robot. Hitting that menacing in and out from Hajime no Hippo. Punched bro in the eyes and then gave him the Africa Africa no Gatlin. Jesus. The last time I saw him beating this bad, my brother forgot to wash the dishes. Mommy, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Where's the dragon scroll? Skadoosh! Bounce that nigga like he was Kung Fu Panda had him doing the stop, drop and roll. Oh, so now you think you are the Black Panther, eh? In that case, I am killing Bonga! Take this, oh! Holy Ghost Fire! Africa! This nigga, he, he, he just likes to destroy nature! Just destroy it! Hmm. Now I can take Wakanda for my own. <laughs> you think you are going to take Wakanda for me? My friend, fuck the Black Panther. Nigga, I am the Black Panda. First of all, look at the Nyash. Second, boom, the bug is like, man, let go of me. But you just grabs his head and slams into his own foot. There, there, son. Now get some nut in your nose as well. Mm. That's finger looking good. What the fuck? And he ah! upper kicks Baki, followed by a Falcon Punch! And while Baki's on the floor struggling to breathe, Yujiro's getting ready to stomp his own son out. When all of a sudden, Did you pray? Did you pray it? This man Pinko pulled up like, hey, I got next. But that's when Baki got up and slid this nigga. There's another reporter right over there. Go clap those cheeks. These cheeks here are mine. And Pinko was like, My fault. OG. Alright, so where were we? <laughs> Anyway, so fast forward a little bit. Yujo's like, Bucky, I just got this great idea. Let's play a game. I punch you in the face and you try not to die. Let's go. Wait, what? Yeah, I killed your mom. <laughs> now it looks like he just knocked Bucky out, but nah. Bucky hit him with a Charles Dubronx level submission and took Yujo down for the second time in the fight. Who's your uncle, you bitch ass motherfucker? This is for my mom in the gulag. <laughs> Bucky, look to your left. Then this nigga you drove punches into the concrete, then forces his hand through the fucking floor into this man's stomach. This isn't even Baki logic anymore, bro. This nigga is Jesus. Not actually, of course. I'm hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, Baki's on the ground like, that was a good one, dad. This nigga pissed himself. He should have saved that piss for later because not even 10 minutes later, this man you drove punched him so hard he flew into another random piss and then punched him again in the exact same spot, which not only made him piss himself again, but made sure some random nigga was calling an Uber home that night. This man wasn't even swinging at Baki anymore, bro. He was just trying to fuck up that car to his utmost capacity. My car, bro! This dude behind me better shut the fuck up. We're witnessing greatness right now. Anyway, so after that, Baki's on the ground, when suddenly both their CT starts acting up, and they start hallucinating seeing their grandpa, this big brawlic-ass nigga with a ponytail. Hey, you drove. Yeah, use that thing I taught you to beat his ass. So this man Yujiro took his advice, snapped Baki's spine in eight places, and started using his son as a whip to fuck up random niggas' property. <laughs> My god! What? You that motherfucker said, everybody loves Kung Fu fighting! <laughs> <laughs> and when he was done, he was like, So son, how do you feel? Thanks dad. I had a blast! Here's a present! fuck is this? Dojo, you good? Ugh. I didn't even get to clap any cheeks this mission, man. How about I clap yours? This man Toji had everybody shook. Some big brolic ass nigga snuck by everyone and managed to stab the most untouchable dude in the entire series. Uh, ow, bruh. You really just gonna stab me in front of all the hoes? <laughs> I've been hating on you for a long time now, Gojo. You were only six years old, but you still somehow managed to steal my bitch. Had her holding the umbrella for you and everything. I was mad as shit. But you couldn't just take your dub and go. You had to Turn around and flex those perfect blue eyes on me. That's why you die today. <laughs> I really stole your bitch at six years old. Now that's done. These two ran a pick and roll on Toji. They did that shit so fast. Their bromance is actually beautiful. Anyway, so Ghetto runs up to Gojo like, Nigga, you high? I'm good. It's just a little scratch, you feel me? The hoes are watching dog block in. Is this nigga serious? Take the two girls and go. We gonna finish this two men by any means. 
Told you not even light skin, but the way girls were simping for this man, Jesus Christ. He had Gojo shook. His position as sexiest anime character is being challenged right to his face. Shit, I meant to pack you up with that first stabbing. I guess I'm getting sloppy. The only thing sloppy was the head I got for your bitch 10 years ago. <laughs> I don't even care about that shit, little nigga. I'm just trying to get the Hellcat. So Gojo tries to hit him with a wrist blast, but he just weaves it. And that's when Gojo realizes this nigga Toji has absolutely zero cursed energy. This man is 100% dark skin energy. So Toji starts hopping from tree to tree like a fucking big ass gorilla. Tries to confuse Gojo so he can get behind him and shrank him. But Gojo's locked in. He just riz blasts him away. Had bro ragdolling and Gojo just chilling, walking up with his hands in his pockets like Sanji. He starts talking shit when he realizes that nigga Toji ain't where he's supposed to be. Crap. This man is such a dark skin, I can't even read his presence. Fuck it. I'm blowing this whole area to shit. Light skin technique amplification. Maximum output. Riz. And he just uses this big ass ball to just decimate everything in the area. And he's like, good. Now that there's no cover, he can't sneak me no more. Ain't no fucking way, boy. So now that these Ebola ass flies pulled up, Gojo can't see shit. And Toji can pull up at any time. Fuck, he made a smoke screw. I should just run back my Riz attack. Sin. Wait, no. He's not after oh, me. Man. He's after the Hellcat. Ha! Got him. Dumbass nigga. You thought I was going to let that shit go? Nah. She was a throat goat. And I lost her to a fucking six year old. Now you'll never be a throat goat. Nigga. Why would I want to be a throat goat? Shut your bitch ass up! This man is just violating Gojo. He tries to fight back, but this man is relentless. Did 360s just to add extra strength, leg sweep them, and then shanked his ass straight to the noggin. <laughs> Dark skin wins. Fatality. Shit settles down a little bit and we move on to nighttime, where we meet the coldest nigga in the entire show, Adolf. No correlation. Out of everyone, his crew had it the worst. They got jumped by the fucking army. And the only nigga who could really fight was Adolf. His only somewhat competent fighter gets packed up immediately. Adolf's cold as fuck, though. He's packing all these bugs up by himself while thinking about his wife that cheated on him, bro. His wife is getting her doonies beat down by next man. That's tough, bro. And he still took her back. Like, this nigga's a simp. What the fuck? Craziest part about it is that when they got back together, they had a kid, and this nigga came out n nothing like him, bro. He was handling it, but then fucking Jesus Christ the cockroach comes out, points at the nigga, and all the cockroaches get an XP boost and start walking towards him. Menacingly. This is why I say this nigga's the coldest, though. He murks all of them. Or most of them. Then the nigga literally dies because he used too much fucking electricity. And his team, not trying to let him just die, start running in to try and fight the cockroaches. Like I said, these niggas are literally fodder. Like, they're useless. Like, come on, bro. This nigga's a turtle. He's just taking hits. He's not even blocking them. They're all getting violated in the most brutal ways I can even imagine. The girl starts crying like, Go away, come help us, come help us. Only problem is the nigga's dead. But because he's an electric eel, he just restarts his own heart like a fucking... What's that shit called again? The, the, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so he gets up, ODs on cocaine so he can save his teammates. A random Negroid walks up, tries to pat his head on some little bro shit. And this nigga's like, bitch, I did not OD on cocaine for you to touch my head like this, bro. PK Thunder! Goes on a straight madness. He's killing everybody, bro. For a shitty ass anime, nigga has one of the coldest moments I've ever seen in my life. Look at how he's walking, bro. Dude throws a kunai, gives the nigga a middle finger, and shocks the fuck out of Cockroach Jesus. He literally killed him. But the most bullshit thing I've ever seen in my life, dude starts stepping on his chest and resuscitates him. What? Anyways, after that, that shit was obviously GG. Nigga pulled out every last trick he had, and he's like, bro, just kill me, bro. He does a T-pose while these dudes just throw rocks at him. Dude is getting fucked up. Oh, my God. And after this nigga died, they find out he had a bomb implanted into him like that one dude from Hunter x Hunter. The cockroach is like, hey, yo, fuck this shit, bro. We out. Left every last one of those useless ass niggas there, bro. GG, his whole squad, every last nigga. Anyway, so then he starts torturing Kaneki in the worst ways imaginable. Put anti-emo juice in his eye just so he'll feel the pain of chopping each of his fingers and toes off. Like, how's he supposed to resell his feet pics on grill now, man? What the fuck? Then he pulled up with this fucking abomination of God's creation. If you gave me the spawn point of these little shits, I'd pull up with three bazookas with switches, Zoro style, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Peter gonna have to see me. You ever heard of Coyote Peterson? No. I'm Coyote Peterson. No. no. And I'm about to no. be bitten no. by the giant. And worst of all, in my opinion, he made this nigga sit down and have a conversation with Dream. Man, it doesn't matter if you 15, my nigga. I like young girls. I like them 15, 14, 16. I like them real young, my nigga. 
at the tuning exams he was fighting with rock lee this jit right here is the straight hand specialist bro got no songs where you gotta be doing all this rock lee's over here swinging on him doing the absolute most and garo's just chilling with his arms crossed i don't get it why is he only using taijutsu well you see lee has no ninjutsu so that nigga's weak anyway so after like three minutes of him getting his ass whooped lee decides it's time to take off the goddamn weight he's been wearing to box and you see that's when my dick got hard. His punch finally broke through the sand, made Gara goddamn shit himself. Nigga decided it was time to turn into goddamn Sonic, started bouncing all around, and then hit him with the silliest axe kick ever. But don't forget, this section's not about Rock Lee. This man Gara gets back up and is genuinely tweaking off on Burke 30. Rock Lee's not done cooking yet though. He kicks this man into the air and starts defying the laws of gravity, wraps this nigga up like a mummy, and RKO's this nigga to the Shadow Realm. Did, did he just kill him? Nah, it's just a prank, bro. Gara slithered up behind him, giggling. Bro started trolling the hell out of him, just tossing his ass around. But Rock Lee was not about to go out sad like that. So he starts powering up like he's about to go Super Saiyan. Kids go into the sky and once again starts violating him mid-air. I think it's safe to say that Kid Rock Lee could have been the fucking main character. Oh shit, I actually have to put my hands up. Nah, where do you think you're going? Oh, what? Oh. You know what? Nah. Fuck Gara. Rock Lee's a demon. He only lost that fight because he ran out of chakra and he was up against a goddamn Jinchuriki. For some reason, Hunter x Hunter got a lot of OP old heads, bro. Introducing Netero. Unk practiced the same punch over and over and over 10,000 times. At this point, bro's fist itself is a walking black air force. Did I mention this nigga is 120 years old? And he's literally fighting the bug messiah. Anyway, this man wanted to get straight into action. Bro started distorting time and space with his speed. Started praying to God like, dear Lord in heaven. Please come save this nigga. I'm about to style on his head. He summoned a big ass Buddha, hit the meanest squad ever, and then Quarity chopped the fuck out of him. Bro said hi ya. Merrim ain't no regular ass bug, so this shit not about to be easy for him. Dude did what even Saitama couldn't do and caught Miram in his bare hands like a bug. But remember, this ain't no regular bug he's dealing with, all right? He gonna need some of that extra strength bug spray, some of that raid. Look at dude's face, he's like, oh shit, he survived, I'm about to sprain my hip, fuck. So he starts praying again, Lord, whoop this nigga's ass for me, please. And God is answering this man's prayers. Started hitting a Buddha Buddha no Gatli, sends him through the floor, and then bitch slaps the fuck out of a bug. Look at how he's tumbling across the floor right now, he's getting sent through pillars. Mario eating all this shit like he got a metal plate in his jaw. He rips dog's leg off, bro. Uncle's like, oh, this ain't nothing. Back in 86, this was a paper cut. And then he just flexes so hard that the bleeding stops. Then they go full Dragon Ball Z and just start boxing midair. And Miriam takes off this man's arm. How is this man gonna pray now? Psych, did you niggas forget what this video was about? These old heads are built different. He starts praying with one hand. My mom's a devout Christian. I ain't never seen her pull some type of shit like this before. Then his Buddha statue grabs Miriam, opens its mouth, and is like, Aah! Dude literally prayed his heart out. Got left looking like a stack of chicken bones. Of course, Miriam survives though. He's a demon. But this man, Netro, does not go out without a fight. He's like, Whoop, I'm out of ideas. Bye, nigga. What the fuck? And he starts gang banging this man. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus, boom, it's painful. Bum, bum, clock. Ah, ah. Idiot, please, rush clock. Fight back, nigga, fight back. We will show you Pepe. They beat this nigga so bad, he decided to do ultimate juju and summon these black hands to take the Nami to his shadow realm. But it's annoying, it just breaks in, anyways. And that's when this man meets Zukanda. Rasklat. The middle one, you are fi happy, you come on me, ah. Your worst man. And he dealt this man a sinister blow and was like, Bucky, um. You have no enemies. Let's fight another time. Baki was like, oh, so you pussy? Huh? Nah, I'm just saying you scared because you know I'm going to put you on Twitter. And everybody goes to start calling you a fraud. Fraud Hanma, smallest piece on earth. Then this man Baki sneaks in with a three-piece family combo. It was so fast, this cheese head in the crowd was like, oh my god, who will make the first move? You're a side character, dumbass. Huh? They're just moving too fast for you to see. Anyways, even after all their hype, the only thing Baki's weak-ass attack accomplished was proving that Yujiro has the most chiseled jawline in anime history. He tried to use his nut speed glitch again, but he just embarrasses himself. There's absolutely no way you tried the same move twice on me. Slapped his ass so hard he couldn't decide whether to cry or bleed. 
Oh shit! Quick, quick! Put his ass on Twitter! Put his ass on Twitter! No! Well no! My hose! I'm gonna lose all my hoes! And Yujo is just walking up like, excuse me, sir. Looks at his son in disgust. And when Baki tries to gain any amount of his hose back, he guarantees Baki's going home bitchless tonight. Even the bald headed motherfucker Dopa was in the back like, Damn, Yujiro, I'm jealous. I wish I could whoop my son's ass just like you, big bro. Anyway, so after getting his skull bounced against the concrete for the fourth time, Baki's permanent brain damage starts kicking in. He gonna start talking like Mike Tyson after this. I love violence, you know. My violence just my, my dick got hard because you know I love violence. He gets up gushing a cartoonish amount of blood out of his nose and then hits the anime character special. All right. That was a great warm up. Nigga, what do you mean warm up? You literally just sneezed out all your goddamn internal organs. Man, whatever, bro. We're watching Baki. Like, what do you expect? Matter of fact, fuck it. It's morphin' time. Triceratops, nigga. <laughs> Ain't no way, they done destroyed EDP's free cupcake van. And with that attack on everyone's meat heart, especially Pickle, who was watching from a random rooftop. Why are they letting this nigga roam free? He Did you pray Yo, today? how many victims do you think he's at right now? Someone gotta neuter this nigga, bro. <laughs> that was impressive, Baki. I especially liked how you f***ed up a random nigga's car. But I know an even stronger form than that one. Behold, bear, <laughs> cockroach, ostrich, combined into one. <laughs> What animal is that? What is he imitating? Fucking <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> I'm just making shit up. It's Morphin time. Giga nigga. Busted his clothes off and then he said, You're simply imitating strong creatures when I'm the strongest creature alive. F nigga. And then this man just starts flexing with eight Trigram 64 palms and Baki's like, Dad, just because you're roided out your goddamn mind doesn't mean you're going to win in a fight. This motherfucker thinks he's Bradley Martin, but I'm 260 though. Night night. Sent this man straight to sleep. He tried to hit the meanest lunge just to stop himself from hitting the pavement, but it was too late. Baki already got him sniffing ants. Damn, I know you're as nice like that. Come here, little nigga. Dap me up. And Baki was like, I'm not stupid enough to fall for that, unk. Damn, bro. Like, my hands are clean. I ain't beat my meat yet. <gasps> He, he can't be serious, right? Ah, you caught me. I busted like three minutes ago. How about I rub your head instead? Wait, he's dead ass. All right, I just put on some hand sanitizer. Come here, I want to show you how proud of you I am. He's, he's proud of me. <gasps> what is this, this feeling? It can't be. Is this fatherly love? And he's just bawling his eyes out. The dude just starts reaching out to pat his head. But last minute, Bach we dodges out the way. And he's like, man, f you. You left me in the hood at the trap scam. Whoop oh. niggas asses for money. I don't want your fatherly love. Listen here, little nigga. I don't give a f about none of that shit. I was just trying to build you up to be a real ass f and you're gonna take this fatherly love whether you like it or not. No! No! Wait, you didn't wash your hands! Get your shit! Run before y'all niggas be gone! The vase molester from the first video let his vase possessed hellfish run around the Swartzmith village making sh absolutely tragic. <laughs> Throw some balls, nigga. I got this. Oh shit, I missed. <laughs> Please, please, I'm still a virgin. There's no bad bitches in this village at all. Get up, my nigga. You're talking to a fish. These niggas are looking absolutely cooked, but then this crow is here to save the day like, Well, now here they're finished. Well, now here they're finished. The village needs a baddie immediately. And just like that, Tits Ahoy is on the scene, ready to make me hard while watching. I mean, save the day. I don't even care anymore. Y'all can call me Philly on Mars if you want. I'm going to say what I want to say. Anyway, so these fish are just relentlessly massacring these penis mouth civilians. Like, Jesus Christ, that nigga definitely just got turned into some salami. But before the fish can continue, to run up his KD, Mitsuri pulls up, shits on it, and just flashes every single one of them. Nigga's friend is dying in his arms, and all he's focused on is, oh, pussy. Her sword is literally a whip, and she's just skipping around, brutally murdering all these monsters. Like, oh my god, Slay Queen. She even packed up this fat ass fish, saved Unk, and while she was like, oh my god, are you okay? Unk was like, I'm about to blow. Oh. Hey, can you take me to the hospital? Back the f up, bro. Quite possibly the greatest anime duel of all time. These two have been jumping all types of niggas since they were jits. Back then, Sasuke was getting all the hoes with his god boy vibe. So Naruto was like, fuck that. If I can't get no hoes, I'm gonna just get the bros. Their bromance grew to absurd levels through countless battles. For example, this nigga. So Zabuza put Kakashi in a Kuchi water jutsu. And now it's up to Naruto and Sasuke to deal with this nigga. Sasuke tries to fight dude, but he gets embarrassed. <laughs> And Naruto's over here in the corner just losing his marbles. Oh, hell no, I'm out of here. <gasps> Wait, I 
can't leave. He finally gets a grip. Let's run that dude. Oh no, he's gonna get packed. I don't think these kids are gonna beat a grown ass man, bro. Speaking of grown ass man, why is this dude sweating so hard against children? Bro hit a devious elbow drop on a little nigga like he was in the WWE. Dude was really about to OD and then fucking stab Sasuke, but Naruto pulls up like 20 deep with his goons. They try to run a football pile up on this dude, but he hits him with some Lego Ninjago fucking spinjutsu attack, bro. Meanwhile, Sasuke got away and that little nigga's been plotting. He pulled out some shanks. So he jumps up and tosses it, but I really don't think a fucking shuriken's gonna stop a ninja of the mist. Oh wait, hold on, he threw another one. Does this little nigga really think this slow ass shuriken's gonna even do shit to me, bro? Man, let me just weave this shit real quick. <laughs> Who did he, bitch? Huh? The little nigga? We're not sus. We're just in a bromance. And with that, they freed Kakashi. But that was only their first time jumping someone, bruh. The craziest jumping from these two was the shit they've been doing in Boruto. Wait, so he's about to put these niggas on hentai haven. But Edward goes and packs up all the lights in the village, which removes his BBC tentacles. And while this jit is quote unquote defenseless, they get this Mufasa ass nigga to jump him. Did this nigga just eat a swipe from a lion? No, nah, what the fuck? He's taking all these hits without even flinching, bro. Anyway, so while all this is going on, Gluttony is getting absolutely violated by this Oni Genji looking ass nigga. His fat ass trying to run away, but you know damn well he's not making it far, bro. They start jumping him and shit. Blew that nigga straight to smithereens. And then we cut back to the little jit, who is still currently absolutely tanking all these hits. Like, this nigga is literally getting choked, and he's just staring at him like, man, get your weak ass paws off me. Your breath stank. Anyways, the last time OG clutched a 1v4 squad wipe with his dark skin energy. You would have thought bro was trying to audition for FaZe Clan the way he no scoped that bitch. Okay. Anyways, after getting the bounty, he went down to go claim his Hellcat, but as he was about to dip. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, what's good, Debbie? I stabbed this in the head. How is he alive? You already know light skin Jesus wasn't about to let a real nigga die. <laughs> and this man Gojo starts yapping about how he survived and told you just standing there like, this nigga really just popped a perk 3 million and came back to life. Like this man really transformed into what a crackhead and then came back from Yodi land ready to squabble. Faded in a hole, faded in a hole, faded in a hole, faded in a hole, faded in a hole. Faded in a hole. Need I say more? Yeah, remember when I was eight and I stole your bitch? I was in my kid size hell kit hitting that bitch in the back like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> And Toji starts getting heated. He's like, you better stop talking about my throat goat. Your throat goat, huh? Throat goat, yeah! <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with me? So this nigga just jumps at him. I think this nigga ran out of plays, bro. He tried to do the same shit and got weaved. And this nigga Gojo pulls up from the back like, this might hurt. <laughs> Charges up the coldest fucking red I've ever seen in my life. Had this man told you stress. Look at the fear in his eyes, yo. Had this nigga clutching his chest like a grandpa. My heart. Head ass. And he looks up and this nigga is floating midair like Jesus Christ. Dude looks like he's getting the sloppiest schnapp known to mankind. Like, what the fuck? So Toji gets up and he's like, shit, I forgot to hit my morning yoga this morning. Let me get that in real quick. Grabs a chain. I mean, that's kind of crazy as a dark skin nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? At least the light skins was in the house. You, you was out there, you know what I'm saying? Working the field, my boy. We're being whipped, so let's try and have a little bit more of a reaction, okay? Anyway, so bro starts swinging that shit like a bad bitch. And Gojo's still in the air looking like he just busted the fattest nut. Dude really thought he was Ghost Rider. He swung that shit at Gojo trying to take his head off. But Gojo just weaves it and he swings again. And Gojo dodges again. But when you realize this nigga is in his own thoughts mid-battle, he's ascended. Rico, I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. To be honest, I've already moved on, you feel me? I'm just trying to get this dark skin nigga out of here. I've achieved a new level of light skin. <laughs> Super light skin god. Throughout heaven and earth, I alone am the booty clapper. It's over for you, Toji. You are a magnificent dark skin. I was just sexier. <laughs> Wallahi, I'm finished. And this man Gojo literally obliterated Toji. Left this nigga looking like the Apple logo, bruh. Nah, nah, nah. Give this nigga plus 100 million, bro. What the fuck am I looking at? Anyway, so Jason from Penabai comes back and he's like, hey, so uh, there's some niggas outside and uh. Kill every last one of those Playboy Cardi dick riders. Matter of fact, niggas, give me that gun. Y'all motherfuckers need Jesus. All right, Sergeant, what's the latest? Sir, Shorty from HQ says she took your bike and she's gonna get a jumper gunner. Bitch, what are you doing? That's my shit. <laughs> Okay, no, no, no. I don't have insurance. Huh? Time to die, you emo shit. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Okay, all done. 
Despite being a handsome man and having a whole ass girlfriend, Patrick likes to clap hooker booty cheeks sometimes. He's hitting it from the back when he's trying to hit quick time events. The first time he clapped some cheeks was a mission success, but the second time, he had some trouble. He was prowling the streets and... Dudes will do anything to get some hoes, bro. You are not Jay-Z. Why are you pulling up in a limo to pull prostitutes? Bruh. You know what? That's not even the weirdest thing that he's done in this movie. Flashback. Oh, you think you can have a better candle tilt than me, huh? I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Huh? I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna Daddy, chill. Hey, sister. Okay, queen. I didn't know you liked niggas, Patrick. Hey, yo. I want you. I want you, too. Patrick, I am a man. A man who's gay. You like niggas. Get that through your head. End of flashback. He pulls up and picks up someone's Russian mother. And he's telling her, Hey, come in. I got some candy. But she's like, No, last time I had to go to the hospital. I think you broke my vagina. I got $20. Oh, shit. Like. Which is crazy because last time this sicko took a coat hanger and used it on her coochie like he was trying to lock pick a car door. Anyway, so they get to the apartment and this man Bateman wastes no time Bill Cosby in their drinks. This is the fastest sex offender I know. He gets down. Russian mommy tries to give him a compliment. This is nicer than your other apartment. Apartment. Whole time, this isn't even his apartment. This is Paul Allen. Huh? And even after his death, he's still hating. Oh, it's not that nice. Anyway, so this is player three. She's actually kind of bad. Either that or I'm just a winter soldier. Either way, Cheeks gets a clap. And ew, you can see this man's whole booty through the blanket, bro. Russian mommy tries to sneak away while Patrick's distracted. And this is that shit I be talking about, bro. Niggas will go to McDonald's and refuse to eat pickles on their burger. But then turn around and go eat ass! Russian mommy ain't into all that, so she does the dash, dodging obstacles and turning corners like it was subway surfers. And she opens this closet hey, door yo, and fights two fuck? girls hung up like Montclair coats. Opens another door and what in the fuck is this man on? I can't show this! Then she hears the hell can in the distance and tries to run to it. But never mind, this nigga just casually has a chainsaw. So she starts running again. <laughs> Bitch, stop opening doors! Then this dude comes in, said fuck the chainsaw, and starts trying to nibble on her leg. <laughs> Breathing heavy as shit. What is wrong with this nigga, bro? Thought it hissing like I gotta censor all this man's whole meat hanging out. But holy stuff, skipping leg day. Anyway, so she finally makes it out. And let's take a moment to mourn our redhead wife. She probably up in heaven turning up to pop smoke right now. Woo back, baby. Woo! Back to business though. She's doing the smart thing, running up to random people's doors, screaming like a dumbass. <laughs> Call me a bad person if you want, but if I'm hearing all this ruckus, I check my ring camera and there's a butt booty naked nigga with a chainsaw chasing you. None of my business. It's none of my business. I love how this man had the time to grab the chainsaw, but couldn't find the time to put on some goddamn pants. Anyway, so she's booking it down the stairs, about to make it to the escape point. But this nigga Patrick got that mama mentality. He yells, Kobe! Kobe! And he snipes her ass just before she escaped. Fuck the American Psycho. This man's the American Sniper. But Kaneki's 13th and final reason why was when he brought out this cute ass couple and said, All right, little bro, choose one of them to hoop at Kobe tonight. I can't do it. I can't pick one. Nigga, if you don't pick one, I'm gonna just kill both. And you know the goat Kobe's just watching from heaven, like, Yeah, bring both of them. Everyone up here sucks ass. Okay. And at this point, Ken's so depressed, all he can do is recite XXX Tentacion lyrics. I wanna die, yeah. No, I'm not alright, yeah. <laughs> And Jason just looks up, bro, like, Is this nigga serious? And he just grabs his wife's neck! This nigga only beats on women, is he King Sid? And her husband, trying to be Captain Save a Hope, is crying out, like, I'll let you out of a 22, my wife, just save her! Moonlight, spotlight, should I wait you to bring your moon ride? Please! It's not too, it's too late, nigga! Ah. Yo, crying! He had this man looking like Jesse Pinkman, bro! He's mad as shit! <laughs> Ah, sorry, pal. He, he ain't choose, so I gotta take both of y'all. Oh, man, that shut to the... The funniest part is all this dumbass had to do was pick one person to survive, and the other one would have lived. But nah, bro froze. He hasn't moved in 20 minutes. Probably this guy's name is Virgo, and he likes to have pork chop slices on his cheek. Law is too much of a street nigga for this. He tries to pull out his sword to murk both of these niggas and walk off. But for some reason, this man Virgo has his heart. He then pulls out a baton and knocks this nigga oh. Law out. I think this is the first L we've seen Law take. Turns out this Virgo fella is over here working as a double agent for Don Quixote Doflamingo. And so was Law. This Doflamingo guy seems really cool. I'm sure he won't commit mass murder, patricide, fatricide, piracy, slavery, torture. Law wants to cause problems with Doflamingo by destroying the smile 
factory. But Virgo kind of this nigga lacking. This man Virgo was like, my nigga, I could kill you right now. I got your heart in my hand. But I'd rather just beat the fuck out of you till you die. He mashed that nigga up with a bamboo uppercut. He teleported and hit this nigga again. Loki, when it comes to drip, Virgo's whooping Law's ass right now. I don't know what time One Piece takes place in, but this man's lineup should not be this crisp. He got this man Law crying out in pain and he's like, get up, I'm not done beating your ass. This man didn't even wait. He's just stomping him out. But yo, they're using Dragon Ball sound effects. He's putting my dog Law through hell, bro. He's squishing his heart. He can't do nothing. I'm not even gonna comment on what happened next, bro. Just watch. Man, give him that shit back. Oh shit! No. Ah. Virgo really violating this man right now. He nigga fight his hand and is beating him oh, senseless with it. Knocked his hand to oblivion. Like, why are you messing with his drip? That was his last straw. Law had to start fighting back. Eat him with a counter shock. The shit didn't work. But hey, at least he tried. Thank God Smoker pulled up to save this nigga just before he's about to get popped. These two get to scrapping. Smoker showing off how cool he is. Virgo's showing off how much cooler he is. Virgo's really embarrassing both of these guys. It's kind of sad. Right now, Virgo's looking like the real black Air Force. He gives up. He's like, I right, get you one then. He starts letting Smoker just wail on him. Just bam, 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 bam. And then Smoker puts his fucking all into the punch. And he takes it with his nose. Nigga said, you done? Now sit your ass down, bitch. Smoker realizes he can't beat this nigga on his own, so he starts fighting like a hooligan. Whole time he was plugged to help Law get his heart back. Now that Law got his heart and his drip back, he means fucking business. He about to send this nigga straight to the gulag and prove who's the real Black Air Force drip demon once and for all. But oh shit, this man Virgo, he just went, he just went full nigga. Virgo jumps at Law and he's about to whoop his ass, but psych! This nigga Law's the drip demon, he cut him in half! All right, so Megami was about to get munched by this gremlin of a curse. Oh, why does this tongue look like Donzo's arm? Either way, it throws this dude into the wall and his dog start melting. Megami really about to turn into this thing's afternoon snack. So this nigga Itadori starts trying to box it with his bare fucking hand. Is this nigga serious? Dude had literally no business trying to fight this thing. And now he's about to get munched. So this man pops up perk 30, obliterates this nigga and starts absolutely tweaking. I say this every episode, but these anime niggas are really addicts. Anyways, that perk was supposed to be for Gojo, and now Megumi's trying to think about what the fuck he should do. Not to fear, however, the light skin's here, and Gojo's like, Damn, nigga, you got fucked up? Nah! You finna lose all your hoes when I post this. Ah, Tanisha just said your ass smell like fucking dog food, nigga. Anyways, you get my perk? Um, excuse me, sir? I'm so sorry. I took your perk 30. Wait, dead ass? Dead ass, bro. Alright, bro, score up. Sukuna tries to sneak Gojo right off the bat, but clearly he didn't know what caliber of light skin he was up against. Dog is sitting on his ass. Bro starts teleporting. Oop, over here. Oop, I'm over here. Oh, I'm over here. That's so close. Then he whispered in his ear like, Hey, sorry, bro. That nigga finna tell the hoes what happened here, so I'm gonna have to style on you a little bit. Bro hit him with a 360 no, Sent that man spinning into the air. He gets up and tries to get one in, literally annihilating the building behind him. But this nigga is just smiling. I think it's safe to say that's an easy plus 100,000. Plus another 50 just because he's light skin. The show starts with some nigga named Akari in a cage fighting a fucking bear. They brought out this angry ass beast. And even he's like, yo, what the fuck is this, bro? You got all these creepy ass old niggas in the stands just watching and grinning. While this man is literally out here fighting for his life. Nigga slithered up on top of the ring, screamed, my name's Akari and welcome to Jackass. Then the nigga jumped up into the fucking sky and like Randy goddamn Orin, he tries to RKO a whole ass bear, my nigga. Dude does nine damage, gets thrown off, and has to just take a moment to reconsider his life choices. That bear's a fucking menace, though. Give this man no time. And hit him with a mean left. Had this dude's entire body ragdolling. Yo, take a guess at what happens next. I kid you not, the bear starts munching on his nigga's balls. Dude is crying. His life is flashing right before him. And while he's thinking about why the fuck he's even here fighting a bear in the first place, I'm over here thinking, nigga, where the fuck are the cockroaches? Anyway, so this guy is obviously the protagonist and he's not gonna go out like that. This nigga wakes up, slaps the ground and arises like Jesus Christ, pokes the bear straight in the fucking eyeball. Oh, nah, he geeking. That's why I be telling y'all, man, stay away from them perk 30s. Dude picks up the bear and is like, oh, watch this. And then slams him straight into the ground damn that fight was crazy wait this thing is not finished he jumps into the air and crushes the bear's head into the ground with his knee damn like, wow bro that was 
That was where are the fucking cockroaches. They ruled this nigga Baki's eardrums twice. Why? And at this point, they weren't even beefing each other anymore. This is family bonding time. Yo, boss, there's only like a dozen people in front of us. And you're like six foot nine, 640 fucking pounds. Let's get closer. Nah, nah, we're, we're good here. We're good. Then these two meatheads just start wailing on each other. No dodging, no blocking, just straight hand to faces. Shit was so beautiful. This nigga emerged from the crowd ready to dick ride. It's really him. The big drop and got on his knees praying these two are literally just deleting each other's brain cells one by one and motherfuckers in the crowd are just praying to them like they're performing miracles boss are you sure you don't want to get any closer nah nah we're good here we're good as they're suddenly at the front <laughs> even jack was watching as he was inserting trent into his rectum it should have been me nah bro after what pickle did to you bro it's best just watching the sideline anyway so bach is continuing to auto 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 his dad and you just not even fighting back at this point he just wants a big ass hug crunch there goes your ribs buddy Damn. my dad's really him has he always been him a Storvis rex and Yujo just analyzes the damage like, Jesus, I really fucked his ass up. Broken teeth, missing nose, ball sack float in his ear. Yeah, GG, this nigga finna be ugly as shit when he get at the hospital. Definitely getting no hoes. All right, son, that's enough. Any more and you'll meet your mother. But as he was walking away, the random still glazing him, of course, his CTE tricked them into thinking Baki gave him one last kick. And to reward him, they sat down and enjoyed a nice, peaceful meal. And then they lived Bakali ever after. The end. So the cancer is finally catching up to this nigga. Better make a wish, buddy. Your time has come. Either way, that means we finally getting closer to seeing Muzan getting his cheeks clapped in a 12 Hashra gangbang in HD, nigga. I don't know if that's how Demon Slayer ends. I'm just guessing. Anyways, for all that, he needs to cause a ruckus in Lego City. So this man summoned Akaza off at his lunch break, as well as the rest of the Demon Dick Riders to the Infinity Castle, and we meet our two assholes for the season. Yes, good, nigga. Yoko, who's basically just some creepy ass nigga in a pot, and Han Tengu, who's really just a pussy ass motherfucker. Probably likes to watch his girlfriend get fucked on weekends like Sneeko. Oh, yeah, there's also this light skin ass motherfucker, Doma. And Kokushibo's edgy ass. Like, what the fuck are you doing hiding in the corner like an hey, iPad yo. kid, nigga? Go play with your friends. Muzan's late as hell, so while they're waiting, this nigga Doma just starts moaning in Akaza's ear, like, oh, I can't wait to go and gobble this woman i got at home you hear that i eat pussy and he's just trying to get out because i'm mad as shit you know i'm a feminist and just obliterates this motherfucker's jaw anyway so muzan finally pulls up and he's like you useless motherfuckers all y'all shut your bitch asses up these demon slayers are cooking us we're down like 20 nigga if i have to add one more name to my instagram bio what the fuck are y'all doing oh uh, well muzan you did kind of kill all the lower ranks for no reason whatsoever. It's kind of your fault. I beg your pardon? You trying to say I'm a dumb, small, dick having bitch, huh? You wanna die, nigga? And this motherfucker's not even worried about dying, bro. He's like, oh my god. Who's on touching me? I'm so hard. Now it's just these two, and I can already see the bromance forming. This man is glistening. Have y'all ever wanted to lick on someone's abs? Pause. Anyway, shit starts turning up. Dude hit him with a gummo gummo no buff nigga punch, and then sent Itadori flying. Oh no. Had dude thinking his arm got punched off. Tweaking? Like a blinked and then got greeted with a dress shoot to the fucking face. He starts stomping bro out and he's having so much fun, he starts biting his lip. <laughs> hey, you play PS4? Nah, I play Xbox. <laughs> and now to finish it. Oh shit, that nigga's dead. Oh man. Anyway, where the big titty goth girls at? The mere mention of goth girls just burnt a fire in this nigga Itadori's soul. Dude got right back up. Now, you know what? Pause the video. If you look like Gwen from Total Drama Island, hit my DMs, bro. They open. This is not a joke. <laughs> and Toto was like, <laughs> What kind of woman is your type? Hmm. Me I like a thick chick with a big old booty man can just scuba dive in your heart. Like Lizzo. <gasps> my. My nigga. I love you. We were destined to be best friends like we are. Brother, I do not know you, bro. Anyway, so they get back to squabbling. Dude takes two punches straight to his intestines. Backflip, nigga. All of a sudden, he's Simone fucking Bile. Toto weaved his kick, but dude disappeared. Psych a lot. <laughs> this is where Toto became super sus for Itadori. Dude got punched in the face and he's cheesing. Anyway, so buddy just starts stomping and connecting like he was one of those trash ass prank channels from 2016. I'm Stepping on a little nigga prank. Going violent. But Ken wasn't trying to go out like an Astro World victim. So he summons the darkness within him and starts trying to regain his composure, but he gets his back blown out. Then Tuka tries to jump back in. Slash him! Gets knocked the fuck out. Tango down. You're not even rocking Rick. You're not even a person. Ew! And where are the slits on your wrists? You'll never be able to join Opium. Mom and Dad were right. This is just a phase! A phase.
days. <laughs> this is the real me, the darkness inside of me. Now die, Nick! Ah! This man really packed his own sister up just so he could go around acting misunderstood. Anyway, so after that, buff dude grabs Ken's noggin and starts doing him the way I do Neon. If I caught that annoying ass little nigga on the street, and he just starts oh, smashing his man's face into the counter, trying his hardest to give him teeth like he was from the UK. Mate, please, bro, I just work it. You fucking want, mate? He's abusing this man like he was the God of War button mash, and even the emo niggas just standing over here uncomfortable. Uh, I'm literally a vamp, and even this is too much blood. The only one enjoying this shit is James Charles in the corner, low-key jerking off. Hey, sister. Oh, fuck. Don't call me that shit. Uh, sh my fault. Let's, let's take this back to Opium headquarters. <laughs> Anyway, so now we're back at Mucho after he got his ass poppy ulted the f*** out of the battle. He's hauling ass trying to get back when he notices a little jit fighting a level 99 Magikarp. Running out on rare candies and he's just watching like, yeah, he gonna be alright. You asshole! Come back, I have perks! Hold on, he say perks? So he saved his little ass, added plus one useless nigga to his party. Now while they're running together, he finds another plus one useless nigga. But this one actually has direction. So then they start running again, and the random's like, There it is! The shed where I put your sword! Just grab it, you can kill all these fuckers! Hold your horse's penis mouth. It's not a penis, we're whistling. It's here. And then the meat grinder from earlier rolls out. And I love how Mutual just shoves both of them out of the way. Like, look, bro, there is 100% enough space for him to just squeeze by. But he's supposed to be an asshole. Anyways, he comes out of the pot like a suspicious fluid. And he's all, It's a pleasure to meet you three soon-to-be victims. My name is Gyoko. I love to have intimate sex with faces. Can I show you guys something? Hey, uh, please kill this guy quickly. He's, uh, making really strong eye contact with me. Nigga, what eyes? Behold! Don't, don't mind all that, that's just my nut. I call it the Leaning Tower of Niggas! <laughs> Isn't it completely fucked up? I don't even think I can show this on YouTube. Oh, and this is the best part, watch this, watch this. You see, this kid's crying, but like, knowing me, I was such a fucked up kid. I probably start laughing with the dude, bro. Anyway, so he's having a blast, right? But Mutro with the cadence of Moist Critical is like, You better cut that out. That's my nigga Kyle in there. And if y'all are wondering why all these non-black demon slayers are saying the n-word, what a fucking well, well, who's gonna stop them? <laughs> you nigga. <laughs> Plus Tanjo Swords Black, he gets a pass. Man. Anyway, so this dude hit a missed down no jutsu. Tried to take this man's head in one fell swoop. Did I just say one fell swoop? I ain't never said that my entire life. Anyways, he dodged it, and he's all, I don't even care about your homie Kyle. I just like to fuck face. <laughs> Yo, that's why I love Muchiro, bro. He is not about all that yapping. He's just trying to find his next pack to smoke. Anyway, so then Pothead pulls out two level 30 magic cards, and they just start spamming toothpick. He dodges them, but then one of the fish is like, those two random bystanders minding their business? Yeah, fuck them! Got this dude looking like a porcupine. Mutual's a better man than me, bro. I am not tanking all those toothpicks. I would have stood my ass back and watched them get turned into Swiss cheese. Like, damn, that's crazy. Anyways, he runs that speed blitz again, and Vase Bluster just eats it, and then puts him in a coochie water no jutsu like he was Kakashi. 